Okay, guys, this video is on the Thrash and Supply Escape Saddlebags. I'm going to be putting these on a uh, Fat Bob 114 2018 right there. Uh, here's a little, little shot of them, how they come connected with Velcro there. They'll come with rain cover tucked in here, one for each side. And the hardware that you need, which are these, are for a specific bike. Uh, those are for the Dinas, which I've got a soft tail. Fat Bob, here's the instructions. Um, one thing, it comes with four of these also. These little dudes go... where your uh, quick detach brackets are and the hole is not big enough so it would not go with the radius of this wouldn't fit I've been fighting this for two days two evenings uh, trying to get it to fit get everything to line up finally decided just to enlarge these holes so I took a step bit and just widened these out a little bit I just did all of them uh, just in case. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick these on. I think I should be able to get everything bolted up and lined up now. Uh, I went so far as to take this whole piece off here, which is not not real fun. There's a bolt back in behind there. Uh, it's not easy to get to. I'll try to get everything lined up. But I think I got it going my way now. I'm going to go ahead and install these. Uh, nothing really to show. But when we're done, we'll mount the saddlebags and show you uh, what all fits in them. Uh, by the way, Thrash and Supply, for my trouble, I am interested in some of your footboards, uh, your mini footboards. But I don't know if I'm going to shell out $300 after having to do this. But we'll see how it works. Okay, so took quite an ordeal to get these little dudes on. I had to file and drill these things, these brackets they give you. But anyway, once they're mounted, one front, one back on each side, this side. Velcro's attached to the bag, loop it through there. There's a slot in there. I don't know if you can see that. Just loop it through there, and then there's attaches with Velcro right there adjustable up and down there's the other one and i'm going to flip them over Let's see if i can do this here so you just set that one there bring this one up here attach it with velcro i'll adjust that when i get two hands here i'm going to go ahead and throw that rack on before i do that i'm out my hold fast rack with the bag on there and then throw these over the top and then do some final adjustments and that's pretty much it and i'll probably show you all uh what all will fit in there and uh we'll go from there but yeah those brackets were not did not fit exactly correct and i'll get you a close-up of that radius right here the back and front ones probably would have or the back ones probably would have went because it's straight Right here, that piece. Yeah, I'm going to get you a better shot. But where it curves, it would not go. Okay, so here's a shot of it with the, uh, the rack on. The hold fast rack thing, and I already attached this, but then this just pulls over the top. This is Velcro. I'm going to stick the seat on and do some final adjustments and we'll see what it looks like. We'll see what all we can pack in there. Okay, so here's a shot. Final assembly. Seat on. Bags on. Hold fast rack with that bag, tail bag on it. Come on, gimbal. Stay with me here. Shot from the other side. The lighting's kind of poor in here. But 
pull it out and pack some stuff in it. See what we can do. Okay, so just so you know, in here, in this side, I don't know why I'd ever need to, but if you go in somewhere, you can. That is a Cena Calvary half helmet. Just barely fits. Uh, you have room to stuff some gloves or something else in there, but not a whole lot else is going to fit in there. And you've still got this pocket up here for bandanas or what have you. So let's take that out of there. And uh, let's, uh, okay, so now for the important stuff. Will this fit in there? Yep. You can get your six pack in there easily. One on each side if you're under 10. There's 12 pack. Good stuff. That'll fit. Let's see if my heavy jacket will fit in there. It'll be a tight squeeze, but it will go. Absolutely. Uh, not going to fit a whole lot else in there. Gloves, bandanas, you can put some camera stuff or electronics or chargers, what have you, up in here. Haven't really sorted that out. So that big old heavy jacket right there, it'll fit in there. And then the other side, you know, you can cram these gloves in there. These are earpieces for that Cena Calvary helmet if you want to talk. Listen to the radio, Bluetooth, your phone, whatever. The other side, I've got this lighter jacket. So you could have a hoodie. Uh, a hoodie and quite a bit of stuff would fit in that other side. So I think I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, sure, you could roll up a couple pair of jeans, a couple shirts in one side, jackets in the other, socks, underwear for a day trip. Still got that bag that I could use, and I've got the swing arm bag. So, there you go. That is the Thrash and Supply Escape Bags. Let's see if I can show you on here. Right here, the front ones, there's a radius of that piece that holds the, the blinker on there. And it's just enough where that won't fit up in there get your bolt and your bracket from the backside through that hole so I just drilled filed notched that out just a hair uh, and it went together pretty good but I'm not real happy about that it was a pain in the butt trying to get all that stuff lined up but anyway there you go fashion supply escape bags I think there's 300 250 bucks pretty expensive but I also wanted to show you they have these Molly, I think is what they call these. But they're all over the bags and in the back here. They've got some run vertically, some here, some on the side. Uh, so you can strap, tie, whatever you need to, other stuff on top, on the side, in the back. I think they make a fuel bottle that you could have a water bottle or whatever you want to strap it on here on the back uh, it also has a zippered pocket out here I don't know what you do with that paperwork what have you not gonna hold a lot of anything but small stuff will go in there and that's that thanks for watching